Okay, today the topic of my lecture is all about dogs, puppies, your house pet. The question of today's lecture is where do dogs come from? Um, what is the history and the origin of your pet dog? Now, this is a debate that we don't have a solid answer to, but there are many theories. And today, I'm going to be talking about the three theories of where dogs come from. Um, one of them is uh, that they come from the Middle East, one is that they come from Asia, and one is that they come from Europe. So let's start with uh, the, f the, the first theory, and that is the theory that dogs come from Ice Age Europe. So that's back... 20,000, 25,000, 30,000 years ago, when Europe was covered in ice, um, this is what, this is where some experts think dogs come from. Now, um, the discovery came after scientists started to analyze the DNA of 18 ancient dogs and wolves. So um, they're studying the DNA of these dogs and wolves. Now, DNA is that, uh, that blueprint that inside your blood, inside your body, inside your every cell in your body has your DNA. And when they look at the DNA of these ancient dogs and wolves, they found that modern day dogs evolved from a species of European wolf. So they trace all of dogs back to one species of European wolf. They believe that these wolves probably started following hunters around and eating the food that they would leave after the hunt. So the hunters would kill a buffalo and the wolves would come and take the scraps. And then eventually, maybe the wolves started following the people and then the people, but the people probably kept their distance from the wolves, but over time, maybe the wolves and the humans came together and they made a community and they started working together, you know, because the, the humans would protect the wolves from other animals and the wolves would maybe help them find food, and they would uh, they became a community. So uh, this is according to a man named uh, Robert Wayne. This is where wolves come from. Robert Wayne says uh, they come from Europe. Now let's talk about the next theory, the second theory of where dogs come from. Now uh, that is that they come from Asia or the Middle East. Now the reason this theory exists is because of an archaeological site in Israel. So in Israel, scientists found the skeleton of an old man, and he was buried with his puppy. So in his, in his skeleton arms, he's holding the skeleton of a puppy. So this is, uh, scientists believe that this relationship with the dog shows that they had a special bond. Now, tracing how and where dogs evolved from has always been difficult. Ancient dog bones are hard to tell apart from wolf, from wolf bones. And plus dogs and wolves sometimes have babies, so that makes it even more complicated. Um, but researchers today think uh, that from studying all of these things that dogs evolved from one common wolf ancestor. Now, understanding where dogs come from is definitely harder than studying humans, according to Gregor Larson. Gregor Larson is a bioarchaeologist at Durham University. A bioarchaeologist studies animal bones. Now, he says that Wayne's discovery is an important contribution to science. The origin of dogs has always been hard to pin down, and scientists have come up with crazy ideas about where dogs come from and how. However, there is a third theory of someone who thinks that Robert Wayne is wrong, and his name is uh, Peter Savlovian. Now, Peter Savlovian is a professor in Sweden, and he believes that dogs were tamed in China probably as a source of food. So not the Ice Age Europe, he says, not the Middle East, he says, he says China. Now, Wayne 
and uh, the other study's authors, they hope to prove their findings. They, they plan to do more testing of ancient dog and wolf DNA. Uh, but in the meantime, experts should really think about such strong, their strong feelings about this question. I mean, people make up tremendously complicated stories about the origin of humans based on a few ancient bones. And really, we're doing the same thing with our dogs. Was it Europe? Was it Middle East? Was it Asia? Well, we don't know exactly. But one thing is true, and that is that these days we definitely view dogs as members of our family.